For Every Bird a Nest is an art science collaboration between myself, Nicola Hemmings, the poet, Harriet Tarlow, and the artist, Judith Tucker, funded by the Royal Society. The Humberston Fitties is a plot land. Now for those people that don't know what a plot land is, they were very, very popular in the interwar period. They had their heyday at that time. And they really are a kind of amazing, well, relic in some ways, but also we can look for it as a future way of living in terms of the idea of Colin Ward's phrase, Arcadia for all. Dark beach streaks. Shadow groin, shadow groin, shadow groin, and into shade of pale, pale June. Black silt tied lines, crows craw. Bird feet deep imprint into sand, moving into mud, into sand, to mud, clagging, slipping. Egret under streaks, catch white against sky. Sounds water on shell, wind wrinkling runnels and channels, light layering low ridges, scattered spirals, cockles, top shells. Worm cast bright edges, small shadow dips. Sandpipers wind rushed running across. Still boats beyond oyster catcher edges, awaiting tide. Deep inshore creek. You can get to bits where all of a sudden you can't get back. Unstopping sands blow build ridges, fill shells open mouths full. Ceasing only at green edges, interweaving beach to marsh to soft sand grass, hold. Creekside thick silted orange to clear lit green, bubbling beneath mud cracked edges, Dappled grey, pink, mauve and growing. Rook lands, Rook lands in, an in an instant of black. We found this place by accident. We stayed in the fitties and fell in love with it. That's really what, what we want to achieve with this project is to get more people to actually want to come and experience these environments, to think about the birds that live and breed here, to think about the environment from their point of view to understand the importance of these these habitats through the arts you know you can actually get people to think differently think empathetically think about what it would be like to be a bird trying to survive in the environments that we have around here to engage with those ideas and creative practice toes wet sinking 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 leaving footmarks in the sand, my long beak, in deep I'm sticking, squiggly snails, worms that wiggle, tasty morsels for the picking. As a salt marsh, and this is where the fittage gets its name from, that we have to be careful what we do. As, as human beings, we have to protect it. It's not just nostalgic. I mean, what I feel is, yes, there is a nostalgia for another way of being on holiday or another way of being, but actually it's also showing us a way forward because here we've got small plots of land, a sort of egalitarianism in some way. And to me, I mean, I suppose maybe I'm call me a sort of old romantic in that way, but I feel like it's pointing the way forward. It's just a, a beautiful, tranquil, wide open space, which is for us to enjoy but also it provides a huge, huge vital role for the wildlife that lives here. If we could think about ways of living with kind of what we need rather than, you know, as much as we can possibly get, then that would be a big step towards uh, solving some of the problems that, you know, the environment's facing. Here, the sky is so big and vast. It's so flat and yet not boring. The air is salty and fresh and the wind it just blows through your entire senses. It kind of blows your mind. 